when I first met Shannon, we fell in love, basically. We met up in Boots. Yeah. Everything kind of just went from there, really. We were very nervous to meet me. Yeah. <laughs> we were two opposites, and I think that's what's made us. We knew we were with Sophia. Yeah. So we started, like, putting things in place to get married and stuff. Shannon certainly stuck to her vows with sickness and health. I don't think any other girl in this world would do what she's done for me. <laughs> I was so tired, no strength. I was collapsing on my floor and shaking. And some days I couldn't move. Michael gone and got his blood test and the consultants turned around and said to Michael, we found that you've got a type of leukemia. I just stared at the window. I didn't know what to do or what to say. And I can just remember bursting into tears. Shannon was heavily pregnant and I might not be here within a week or two. Being in hospital, Shannon was there every single morning, seven days a week, from 8 a.m. to 10 o'clock at night, heavily pregnant until she dropped. Sophia's everything to me. She's perfect. You couldn't ask for a better baby. I'm glad we had it when we did, otherwise I might never have had the chance of having a baby. My cancer is very rare. It's gone to my brain and it's in my spine. I started radio. It's not the easiest thing, because you're trapped under a mask for a long period of time. You're lying there and you're feeling what's happening to you. I can feel myself getting tired for days goes on. It's not so easy on my wife. She's worried about me why I'm going through my treatment each day. There was always a possibility of something going wrong through the treatment as well. But this is the last chance saloon. Because they've told me it's more than likely going to kill me. I went, we're very sorry, but you really don't have time left. I got a phone call from the hospital. I said, Shannon, you need to come in because Michael's blood pressure started dropping and his heart rate's going up. He was struggling to breathe. His kidneys weren't working properly. And when I went in, he said, I don't know how long I'm going to be asleep for. But I love you, and I said, I love you too. Not long after, Michael passed away. What I wake up at 3 a.m. for is worrying about Rose Street. She'd be a widow, so young. She's only just turned 22. One in two of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Help us fight back. To give 20 or 10 pounds, text 20 or 10 to 70404. Or to donate online, go to channel4.com forward slash SU2C. 100% of the money you give will fund life-saving cancer research.